So you want to hack into a Linux account here. Now let's say you forgot your root user password or you just don't know any passwords to log into this Linux box. You could easily actually do this if it's running Grub. I'll show you that method. But let's say they've locked it down a little bit more than that or they disabled the root account. It becomes a little more difficult, uh, but not much. So let's go into two methods to get your password going in Linux right now. First off, we're gonna just go ahead and reboot this and I'm just gonna do a forced boot so we make this happen really fast. So this is the very entry uh, grub screen. Now yours is probably gonna look a lot uglier like the, than this and if it's on server, I guarantee you it's gonna either be the stock grub screen or it's gonna bypass grub altogether and you're gonna need to use the second method in this video. But the first method will work if you have a grub screen, you can just type E to access this in uh, in editor basically and we can just go down uh, it's usually towards the bottom here you'll see a line that says Linux the the thing that we're really looking for here is the one that says forward slash boot and then it says VM Linux and instead of Linux it's has a Z Z is in Z uh, so in this line go to the end of it so we'll just go to the end space and then just type single once the word singles in, you don't have to hit enter or anything else. We just hit F10 to boot into what's called single user mode. Now you might see something that says, hey, root account is disabled because typically I would disable the root account, especially if it's a server base. So you couldn't just do this. Some systems won't actually require a root uh, password on login. A lot of times people forget to set it. Uh, so you can actually just get in here and then just do like a password set your your password like this and then it would, it would do it actually <laughs> i actually typed it incorrectly but let's uh type in a new password and then it updates that root password and you reboot uh, but let's say there's a root password locking this down or you're in single user mode and you just can't do it another good thing for single user mode too is if you don't have graphics drivers or your system's just non-responsive or refuses to boot this bypasses the login altogether, and you can install packages and other things. Uh, I would recommend doing like TTY first, where you do Control Alt and then press like F2 or F4 and move to a different terminal and log in that way if you do have a login. Uh, but this is one we didn't. So let's pretend like we didn't know the root password and single user was prompting us and we we're unable to get to this prompt. Let's go to number two. Now this is a Debian based machine. And this one is going to probably throw some people through a loop. And we'll get into our BIOS here. Uh, from our BIOS, we're going to actually boot into an Arch Linux recovery tool. And you're right, like saying, wait, wait, Titus. I'm on Debian or Ubuntu or, you know, fill in the blank distribution here. I, I'm not using Arch. There's a reason why I like Arch for actually recovering and repairing things. Uh, I'll show you here shortly. We're just going to go into our boot menu and find that Arch ISO. There's a way to actually get into a root prompt using the Arch ISO that just is a lot easier on pretty much any Linux install. So we're going to use Arch Linux for this, and it's just going to give us a live media uh, install. So let's, uh, let's take a look. Now from here, I've run LSBLK at the top. The reason why that command is just lists all the hard drive partitions, which is great. So I'm going to select which one I need, and I need to mount that, uh, those, those particular partitions. So typically, you would just find uh, your first partition, your root partition, which is the big one. And mine is an NVMe E1N1P2. It's typically the biggest partition, and you'd mount that to MNT. And just do a listing of MNT, just make sure... It has all your stuff in it, which this one does. And then we just mount our boot partition, which is typically the, the second biggest one on here. And we just mount it to MNT forward slash boot. And then we'll just do a listing of boot just to make sure all of our stuff is there as well. All right, we'll run LSB OK. And now we have MNT and boot on there. And this is the cool part. We can actually just do what's called arch ch root MNT. This actually brings us into here, and now we could actually do password, and this will change the root password. We'll do like one, two, three, four, update the password, exit, 
U mount dash A to, to basically unmount everything. And then we just reboot. And now our root password has changed. We've effectively gone in, reset the root password two different ways. There's the single user way. That's the easiest. I highly recommend that if you have Grub. But if you, it's automatically booting in. Using an Arch ISO, just mounting those drives manually, and then just doing P-A-S-S-W-D after you've CH rooted in is so darn simple and easy. It's great. So let's let's finish, let the system finish booting and try this out. All right, so now we're here, we're all booted in, and there we go. Let's just do a sudo su, make sure my password's right. Sure enough, it is. Everything looks great here. And we are done with resetting our password. Uh, and this is just two different ways. A lot of people always think, hey, I'm on this distribution, it's so specific, and I just want to kind of showcase one distributions don't matter that much because it's just the package manager and the look is all the distributions doing Linux underneath it still operates the same way and you can even mix and match and use some utilities from other things to fix other distributions uh, so don't ever think you're like pigeonholed into one distribution you can do all of them it's it's really fantastic so uh, check that out and uh, let me know your what you find down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one.